Hello and welcome. Hope I didn't scare you there. I'm finally back with Hearts of Iron 4. That was a while ago. It was quite a while ago. It must have been a week, almost two weeks. So, yeah, it's nice to be back. It's very nice to be back. And uh, yeah, I'm doing Communist Argentina. Why? How, how come? No, no real request for, for it, just Ireland, I got Bhutan, I got Luxembourg. But no one really said Argentina. Some said in South America, but no one said Argentina. Well, it's... Who, who do you see here? Males. Male, 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 and most likely a male. So, I think... I think it's time we change that. Not only male can kill, not only us are the evil persons in world war. They are also the person behind the man. And I think we need to represent them correctly. Nothing against women, but everyone needs everyone deserves their place. And I haven't seen anyone do Argentinian world conquest. So, um, yeah, that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring you a world conquest as the only, I think, the only female leader in the entire game. Fanny Jakosov. I'm gonna slaughter that name completely, but that is what I plan to do. Since I, I don't play much in South America either. It's a pretty interesting country. We are a decent size, we have quite a bit of manpower, or actually we don't have quite a bit of manpower. I thought we were gonna have much, much more than this, but we have some oil, we have some uh, tungsten and steel, and uh, yeah, some more oil, and we have kind of good opportunities to expand. We have lots of nations. Um, the only worry is the United States, if we can get to them before they come, become too powerful. And I also question how the allies will guarantee them. Hmm. So let's see. We have twelve. We can, or we can use uh, seven factories. We have three military factories, and we have shit equipment too. Oh, that's bad. Uh, we have no doctoring to start with. We have no industry, no <laughs> engineering. We have artillery, okay, that's nice. We have no tanks. We don't even have support equipment. Holy shit, they're kind of run down. <laughs> so, uh, what to begin with? What to begin with? I will begin with this to get the extra research speed cost to degrade it. And, um, or reduce it. What? Degrade it? What? Um, Daniel Feminist confirmed. <laughs> so... Me playing them, taking over the world, most likely killing millions of people makes me a feminist. Let's go. <laughs> uh, let's see, we're gonna have weapons one because I want a quick advantage of the first nations I take over. Uh, let's see, we're gonna begin with some... Okay, we, we don't have much place to actually build on. Hmm. Question is, should we... Build civilian factories, or should we just take them? I think we will just take them. And put one more infantry equipment. Uh, fighters. That would be kind of good to actually begin with. But we are missing two of those resources, so let's not. Let's actually put all three here. We're missing some steel now, but I hopefully can switch, change that quite quickly. Um, oh, shit, we have a lot of boats actually already done. So, and we have... Um, a sizable fleet. Uh, a very sizable fleet. Holy shit. They're actually quite good. And uh, let's increase it by building... Let's build some more submarines. Yes, as soon as you get a new factory, go to this fleet. Yeah. And we're gonna have convoy raiding. And we're gonna set it up already. We can't even do it right there. Uh, so maybe our first target. No, no. Th this is just gonna stay here. Convoy raiding. And just protect this so no one can naval invade us. Uh, how do you cancel both construction at the same time? 
uh, shift clicking across. Yeah, shift click to yeah, cancel all constructions. Um, I did it automatically, so I didn't actually know. So, hmm. Uh, it seems like I know in my. <laughs> oh, urban assault fish. Oh, that's actually really good. That's a very hard trade to get. And since we're not gonna have a lot of troops in the beginning, let's do it. Um, two steel and two oil. Um, you have. How many factories do you have? One, one, six. And that's a real nation. We're gonna start with Uruguay. That's gonna be our first target. Um, those could be also kind of fun to play. But yeah, let's just begin right away on speed five. No more slowing down, no more. We need to be play fast, play hard, play strong. And the way we do it is killing poor little Uruguay. <laughs> Um, you guys move here, and from there you're gonna protect that area. Nice. Let me guess, you have no reach at all. Yeah, 16% and 22%, but that should be within those percentage. Um, all of these are moving, let's high priority on reinforcements. Actually a decent size, two decent sized divisions. I'm starting to get more and more impressed by Ar Argentina. Nice. Uh, nice. Uh, all construction at the same time, but all every construction. I can add. I don't want to actually show it off now because I would cancel. Yeah, cancel this progress, and I really don't want that. Um, I can show you some other time. No, I can't because I would be building stuff all game. Yeah, it is all constructions. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, yay, Dan is playing ho uh, online, <laughs> playing Hoi Forte. Yes, I am. Um, everyone at Nice Games gonna lose out. Um, Dan is gonna show how OP Argentina is. Good, <laughs> good guy. Good guy. So many horses. Yeah, actually, that they might even have the largest horse divisions from the beginning. Hmm. Well, I hope they don't horse around at least. Sorry. Uh, come on, 70 days, quickly. Um, do you think research and desperate defense in mobile assault doctrine for manpower is better than research mass, mass assault for manpower? Desperate defense in mobile assault, okay, okay. Let's look it through. Desperate defense. Oh, 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 all of these. Um... It, uh, it really all depends on your army. If you go down this way, you probably have gone mo mo many panzers and motorized, so it all depends on situation too. This, These three are really good techs, but if you're in need of manpower, you should take these ones. So there's not... I can't really compare them, because they're quite different. Here's It's two techs for 5%, here's one tech. So just those two techs, this tech is much better. These two are worse than that one. But the tree itself, it all depends on, yeah. Um, these two were most likely made by our artist Mutz who works on this. I'm failing to think about his forum name. But uh, yeah, an, uh, an awesome guy, either way. Uh, okay, to begin with, communist one, let's do it. I for one second thought I accidentally picked fascist. Oof, lucky. Hmm, what do we get? We get um, more communist support, we get political power and uh, political correctness, which grants forging subversive activities, minus 75%, okay. Gets national spirit indoctrination, 5% national unity, and 150 political power. Political commissars, uh, commerce, commissars, uh, division recovery rate, nice, and of course this one. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty good. But first, let's make us communist. Then we can start with all the cool, cool laws and stuff like that. So otherwise, it's quite nice to actually play here. It was a long time ago. I don't actually remember if I played with historical focuses or not. So um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, 
No more massive MP <laughs> streams feels bad, man. It's, we finished off the last campaign, but um, there will be more in the future. And we'll just continue with research because it pays off in time. Especially when you're a small age like this. It's really important to begin with this. Since you need to get, yeah. All, all, all people have three or more can of course do the same, but all nations that doesn't pick these instantly, you will maybe start to scratch their back a bit. Maybe finally reaching them in tech. Um, how much more do we need? 900 infantry equipment. Okay, that's a bit. Um, we're actually producing 16 a day, so that's nice, but let's trade for some steel. So we can produce 31 per day. That's much better. Uh, day night, yes. Let's remove it. And this one. Infantry weapons, we're gonna instantly switch that out. Yeah, we lose efficiency, but it's worth it. And let's begin with doctrines. Let's see, what should I play with? What should I play with? I kinda wanna go planning. Because this one can be really powerful. Let's see, um, entrenchment speed, max planning, all mech and moth, breakthrough and soft attack, breakthrough org, Let, let's actually do it this way. Breakthrough org, this is mechanized, max planning, organization recovery rate, organization organization, supply consumption, army breakthrough, land night attack, more planning and Faster planning. Organization. Org. Recovery rate. Ooh, reinforce rates. Nice. But that's only for tanks. So I think I'm gonna go down. Yeah, I'm gonna pick Grand Battle Plan Doctrine since I almost never pick it. Just do something different. This is gonna be... Try to do as many different things as possible. So we're gonna go trench warfare, but we're gonna do go the motorized trench warfare way. So we're gonna focus on these. Let's see, they should be pretty goddamn good. Yeah, they are. Since I n never, <laughs> I never play with these. So let's play around with them. Um, can we even... I think it should be possible to play a 100% mechanized equipment build. Um, we can get it in 41 and that's a bit too far ahead. Or too long ahead. Uh, let's see, can we get any text for that? That redu reduces your team. Here, that's 50% panel or reduction. That's 75% for motorized. Is that just the first motorized? Yeah. And the next one is mechanized, yeah. So we should pick this one, that will take very few days, like 30. This is gonna take 600 days, but when we are doing this tech, it will probably be 38, so 300 days, maybe something, and that's pretty good, and let's... Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, we, we're gonna try that, we're gonna try 100% mechanized build uh, 100 mech is damn pain because all of the resources and they aren't good in mountain hills forests and jungles the way to counteract that is have a very well upgraded recon so your leaders pick the right skills but also engineers it helps with rivers it helps with urban territory and of course this one helps with every kind of area so a well upgraded engineer company can not negate it completely but help it and of course I want to do something different. <laughs> there are still m negative modifiers, yes of course it is still negative, but they're fast. And I gotta go fast. And I'm pretty sure you can make variants of them, right? Maybe? Uh, let's see, um, we're just waiting, we're just waiting, yeah. Waiting for 150 bullet power. Let's see, we have close air support, capital ships, army logistics, and okay, we're gonna have these two plus that one. In chief army, we're gonna have most likely offense, uh, theorist, military theorist, um, 
industrial artillery infantry mo motorized 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 does that also hmm what do you need yeah you need why doesn't this actually say what kind of equipment it needs I guess it's similar to this one, then I would need infantry weapons. Uh, never mind, I can think about that later when we have the tech. For now, we're gonna um, actually wait until the communist coup fires so we can instantly switch out to some nice techs and just fire war goal. Uh, I heard the team leader say there will be a dev blo blog tomorrow. Do you know? Yeah, as far as I know, we're gonna have a dev die tomorrow on Hearts of Iron. No, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, why I wonder, if you wonder why I look down here, I'm waiting for an important message. Um, or message a message. Yeah, if that happens, I will tell you about it. And um, that's 7%, 186 split power. Come on, let's switch. We have the extra colony support, so it should be boosted quite quickly. Yeah, 0 0.10, that's really nice. And meanwhile, that is going on. We have full equipment, but we are upgrading now. Let's do like this. That's going to be on low, that's on high, and this is going to be the second one. Since we're going to go fast, uh, let's see. Is there any large difference? These have higher organization, takes a bit more supply, they have more suppression, takes a tiny bit more equipment, supply use. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go fast. We're gonna go fast the whole game. We're gonna go so fast, people won't even realize we're past them. Um. And let's build, I think we should be able to handle four at the same time. Like, when when you start building... I've been wondering this. Would you like some videos on like my top, top tips? Like, my top things I you should think about when playing Hearts of Iron. Like, think of it, uh, Daniel's top 10 tips or something, and I will put it up on YouTube. Would you be interested in that? Since that would take some time for me to make, but if you really want it, then I could. Okay, yes, 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 yes of course. I, I think I gotta do one. <laughs> Since I never planned for any of this, I have 5.1k followers. Right now there's 91 people looking at me. What the hell? And I never really planned for doing anything YouTube specific, but well, it seems like people want it, and uh, I'm a nice guy, <laughs> I think, maybe, <laughs> fascist, fascist, communist, um, so yeah, what the hell, I, I, I will try to make time to do some. Uh, army effort. Right, um, then we're gonna political correctness. No, we don't need that right now. We're gonna go down motorized. Like, I don't wanna go this way. Like, I don't like teching like I do now. I really wanna reach research slots quickly, but first communist, and then mechanized, and then we're gonna go down to the extra research slot. Uh, phrasing. Phrasing? Uh, phrasing for what? Um, Daniel, do you have any mod 404 and if so, or why not? I don't have any mods on for Hearts of Iron 4 since I, I've tried some out, but I don't know. Some feels like you are just becoming way too overpowered. Some are making some very simple mistakes, which really I like. If I if I play my mod, I want it super clean. I should not notice that it is a mod. That's just something with me. Like, I've never been a big fan of mods. For some reason. <laughs> it's weird. 
if they should be mods, they should add more content. But it shouldn't really be visible that it is a mod. Uh, that's weird. I know. Uh, an, a nice communist dictator can be, perhaps. A nice guy who simply wants to take over the world. Exactly! <laughs> um, like, this is good. That's good. Let's begin with, finally, this basic machine tools. Um, Anti-mod bias. <laughs> Why do you choose to play regular? I, if I want a hard game, then... Actually, it doesn't really matter for me. I can just, I can win on every single level, but I want, I want the most fun experience. And I think it's more fun to play with regular. Since, yeah, I play games because I like them and it's fun. If I make them too hard, it's not fun. If I make them too easy, it's not fun. I like this nice, nice path. Um, why, uh, Daniel, why don't you use colored buttons? Because it looks great. I don't think so. I'm I'm used to this, and I I'm I'm really used to this. So we we once which these two buttons placement, I got so irritated. I'm just really happy we switched them back. <laughs> like I'm really stuck in my way. That's uh, something I. Yeah, that's me. I'm stuck in my ways. Okay, come on, communist. Raise up. Rise up, take power, and just do it. Okay, uh, manpower is starting to get a bit low. Can we raise it a bit? Yeah, we can raise it. Nice. And since these are being raised one at a time and not like economic laws, this one you can switch right away to something else. It's fine for me to do this. I can pick this one, but I'm waiting until I'm communist, then I can instantly switch to... No, I cannot. I forgot we had that modifier. Um, we'll, we'll see. Un <laughs> Un-Argentinian activities must be stopped. Ignore them. They just cause the trouble. The referendum is preferable to a bloody revolt. Plus, we'll change. Police will be changed. PC becomes the ruling party. Public election will not be held. Pause the game. Gains range of, reign of terror. Okay, while popular movement for communist revolution are loud and terrifying, a certain section of political movement had largely quiet and waiting. The wait is over. Today, just as co Concordian's leadership and army were branching for a revolt on natural scale, a number of officials in the Argentinian government swiftly placed... Augusto Pedro used to under house arrest and enter negotiation with rebels. While retaining presence of safeguard in order, what the negotiation effic efficiently. <laughs> Ugh, I can't read today! Effectively amounted was to secure position within the new socialist state for those who choose to cooperate. The coup was finished before anyone could, uh, anyone could move to stop it, and those who would are now imprisoned, exiled, or executed by the new regime. And we have Fanu Yakovitsky something something and I'm sorry for slaughtering your name Fanu but sorry. And uh, the Arsenal guy Telefonverket <laughs> and Xvidas thank you all for the follow and sorry for slaughtering your names too. Uh, okay one more day here pick this it's gonna take 30 days that's so nice. And mechanized yeah good we had Already, now industry. And you are done. Let's continue with military factories. You're being producing more equipment. That's great. And we can switch lot partial mobilization. Why can we do that? Oh, one of following, of course. And partial mobilization. So that's really nice. And now we're using eight. And we're also building military factories faster. Only female leader in game, ruling party, PC. <laughs> PC most race. Stalin approves. <laughs> As an Englishman, you guys are saying Fanny makes me smile. Like, I say Fanny, but that's the Swedish way of saying it. So. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say the name in Swedish all the time. So, we're gonna play the communist leader, Fanny. And. We're gonna conquer the world with her. 
Just five war gold. Conquest. This does not matter. This does not matter right now. Since the United States have to go through all the way to Pax Americana because before it actually matters. So we let's just hope they're do being very slow with that. And let's see. Uh, support equipment, we need that. So I'm gonna try to have one that researches stuff we need. One to f to do industry and stuff like that. And wait one second. No, that's not what I meant. Here. Okay, um, this is the important message. I saw there was a Pidgeotto close by, so I'm just gonna catch it um, one second. Holy shit, there's a good Pidgeotto also. Um, I'm gonna throw some raspberry on it. Sorry, sorry. And I'm gonna take a great ball. And I threw it too short. Come on. People are waiting. Come on. Just grab it. I saw it was close by, so I just had to wait until it arrived. Come on. And I got it. Maybe, maybe you can see it. Pidgeotto, nice. A good level Pidgeotto too. So, okay. Now back to game. Sorry. Sorry. And now we're gonna go... We picked this one, well, Wednesday. Um, I don't remember. Can you modify these? Oh, shit. Don't unpause. Can I modify these with industry? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I know how to check it. Maybe. Mobile bath group. Yeah. But doesn't that apply to the armored one? No. Yes, no. I don't remember. I, I, I was just kidding with you all the time. I was just waiting for a Pokemon to appear so I can say this. Uh, <laughs> yes, 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 uh, yes. Messing with you. Sorry. But I had to do it. <laughs> but I'm not evil. Remember that. Um, Alright. Um, 600 days. If we wait a year... We will gain time from that. Yeah, I think so. So we're gonna continue down the path of Grand Battle Plan. Then I have a new number for myself. I wanna hear Pokemon DLC confirmed for you. <laughs> then I want to get the tech research. Uh, I already have. I've already gone down twice. The third one is ahead of time. So I'm gonna wait with that. Uh, how about playing Horror 4 in that mod? <laughs> no, you will never see me using that mod. Hearts of Pokemon 4. Uh, why did you guys need the US if it goes racist? What? Hello, Sacred Delta, and welcome to the stream. Okay, we're gonna continue down this way and uh, all the way like basically we're just gonna rush the text now we have waited way too long with this and how many more days until we can declare war oh that's I, I forget how fast my computer sometimes is it's been nice actually uh, motorized divisions yeah we don't care about that we're not gonna build motorized units we are gonna build mechanized units because it's fun a mod to replace all portraits with Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, you are a little evil. Maybe, maybe, maybe a little, maybe, maybe a little. Um, JSP2081, thank you for the follow. And the Red Blaze, thank you for the follow. And the Modified Government, yes. Military theorist, yes, please. And let's see. Um, do we have anything else to do? It feels like I forgot about something. I forgot about something. I'm not sure what. Ah, radio. I really want that tech. Um, we're gonna cross, crush Uruguay. But we need to do it. Why do we need to do it? Since they have actually some... A fair amount of factories and four naval factories. And that's really nice and I want them. So we're gonna kill them, then we're gonna kill Chile, and then probably Paraguay and Bolivia, Brazil, Peru, Colombia, Venezuela, then we will probably, or 
we will probably at Bolivia be at war with United States at least, maybe the Allies too, and uh, we'll crush South America. We will probably naval invade to Africa, take over Africa, go up to Spain, and actually we could just take South Africa, then we'll just protect this path for naval invasion, let Germany do their part here, and then we go and crush Germany while they're at war with Soviet Union, or crush both parties while they're fighting each other. Hmm. Nice, I think that might actually work. Uh, construction 2. We have no templates, yeah I know, but we will soon. Uh, let's do this, just to get that underway instantly. And um, we're gonna need some more steel. So how about how about it United States? How about you give me some more? So I'm trading with United States, which is very stupid. Uh, I need Germany to be a bit stronger than the current are. So we're gonna trade s with them. All to help them follow my plans. Follow my puppets. Um, we need 1000, yeah. So what this is doing is, first of all, reinforcements. Second of all, un new units. Third, upgrade all units. So all equipment, all the bad weapons, zero I guess, is gonna be replaced last. Oh, it seems like... Oh, never mind. Low battery levels. And uh, let's see, we're gonna continue, yeah. And this is done, that's done. Let's see, how many days is left now? Okay, still 600 something. 620, but um, yeah, let's just wait a bit more. Then it will rescue the enslaved workers of South